hey guys real quick you've been watching my videos you've been thinking about coming out here over the road and you're thinking about coming to prime you know fill out the application put me down as a referral as a matter of fact in the description of the video there's a link to the application fill that out and then follow up after you fill out the application all right guys All right, what's going on people? I'm going to talk a little bit about the things that you need to be taught during the TNT phase, the things you need to be learning during the TNT phase. And again, guys, you have to give it your 100% on everything that you do. And the reason for this is so you guys know, are you being taught right? Are you taught, are you being taught good, etc., etc. Because if not, you guys have to speak up. All right, if the trainer's not doing what he's supposed to be doing and all he's doing is having you drive, sleep, drive, sleep, get out the truck, ASAP. Give Prime a call, give dispatcher a call, let them know. But first of all, you wanna to talk to the trainer. First things first, talk to the trainer as adults. If the situation is not at that point to where you can talk to him like a grown adults, talk to dispatcher, obviously. But talk to the trainer first, get it worked out. Trainer will be like, okay, I'm messing up. We're human, we're gonna make mistakes, all right? But remember, you have to come out here, you have to give it 100% and it takes two. The trainer has gotta do his part, the student's gotta do his part. TNT phase, you already have your CDL. You already know how to drive, know how to back, and do everything else. As far as the driving part, let me let me take that back. You already know how to drive and back and do pre-trip and stuff. So TNT, you're gonna learn the meats and potatoes. As my uh, good old buddy said, you know, Rodney used to say, now I'm about to learn the meats and potatoes of the job, which TNT, that's what it's about. So without a further ado, let me get to the list. I got a long list. There's some things that I may miss, I may not miss. If I do, guys, put them in the comments below and people will read the comments and understand, okay, this, okay. So this is to help people out there understand it might be in taught right or not. So let's find out. So again, people, this is a long list. This is stuff that I do with my students. I take the heart, I do it to the T. Any of my students can tell you and vouch for this. So grab a pen and paper or grab a notepad, just like I got right here, because this is a lot of information, a lot of stuff. So if you have to rewatch the video, do so. So here we go. First thing, log in, log out. You already should already know, you should already know how to log in, log out because you're, you're supposed to be taught that during the PSD phase, log in, log out. How to fuel, you're gonna be taught how to fuel, all right? Use the macros and what they mean, when to do them. I have videos on that, on my how-to videos on the playlist, how-to playlist. There's a three videos with macros, what they are and how to do them and stuff. So, the macros, it's important to know when to do them and what they mean. Dealing with the shippers, checking in, checking out. The receivers checking in checking out how to scale a load it's very important last thing you want is a ticket how to do a live load call how to do a live dispatch remember live load call and live dispatch are two different things live load call is after you get loaded live dispatch is when you get the load the importance of a macro 41 and a macro 55 Macro 41, pickup trailer inspection. Macro 55, drop trailer inspection. I've done a couple of videos on that, so. How to adjust your tandems, very important. Backing, you're gonna be tweaking the backing. You should already know how to back. You're gonna be tweaking it. We're gonna get better. We're gonna build up your confidence. You're gonna back up during the night hours. 
or you can't see nothing. You know, you have to get that, build that up. All right, backing. Next one is hours of service. I understand that. The hours of service is very, very important. This is the stuff that's gonna make you or break you. Hours of service is where the money's at. If you know how to work that, you're golden. How to deal with claims when there's a shortage, overage, damage. Log department, talking to the log lady, why you have to call her, etc., etc. Dealing with road assist. There's a lot of things that you have to deal with road assist. My truck's got a code. Why? The APU's doing this. The trailer's doing that. Whatever it may be, road assist will be there to help you. How to read the bill of lading. The bills. When you pick them up from the shipper, how to read that. Piece, pallet, weight, temperature, bill of lading, set uh, the trailer destination. Do they match? Why it's important to have a seal intact for sign by the receiver. Very important. If you don't have that done right, you could be liable for a lot. And the last thing you want to be doing is paying for something you're not you're not responsible for. You didn't do. But because you failed to sign for the seal intact, you're liable. Could be. Maybe not. I don't know. How to set the reefer, the trailer. There's different settings, different IntelliSets, different temperatures. How to do that? It's very important. How do you pick up a load and not know how to set the reefer, right? It's very important to do that. Low locks. Something may seem like, oh, I got this. How to put it on? How to put the low locks on? There's two different low locks. There's a ratchet style one and there's a, a lock one. How to put them on? Something may seem simple, but yet important to do. You want to brace that load so it doesn't tip over. Trailer tails, why it's important to drive with the trailer tails open. Fuel efficient, save you money. Understand that. You know, I always teach my students, open them as much as you can. Never forget to open it. I'm not saying it's never happened to me. It, it, does, it has happened and will happen. But try to drive with the trailer tails open as much as you can. Pre-trip, beginning of the shift, at the end of your shift, you know, do the walk around, do your thing. There's nothing different you should already know how to do this because you just got out of PSD um, how to fuel by using the macro 27 very important it's a macro designed by uh, the company that allows you to get the best fuel at the best price macro 27 why and when would you refuse a load you don't want to go around refusing loads, but it's very important to understand why and when you would refuse one. Keep that in mind. Trip planning, directions. You don't want to pick up a load and just start driving and be like, I don't even know where I'm going. Trip planning, it's very important. How to read an atlas. It's important as well. What if the GPS fails? Ah, oh, my GPS is not gonna fail. Hey, that's it's on you then, you know what I mean? How to use a GPS. It's also important because you don't follow the GPS to the T. Because if you know this is your exit, but GPS keeps telling you to keep going, why would you follow it? Simple stuff. Pre-trip on the trailer reefer unit. There's a setting that is supposed to be done on every trailer every time you pick it up. Reefer pre-trip on the unit. It's very important to do that because it could cost and save you money along the way. Because if there's any problems, you can fix them while at the shipper, not while you're on, on the road. Winter times. Wiper uh, blades that are for winter, designed for the winter. Which ones are they? Anti-gel. The thing that keeps the fuel from gelling up or freezing chains when you put them on when don't you put them on now that's something that I touch on briefly but I don't put them on but I've been in times where I had to put them on just every case is different but it's important to know why and when 
sleeping on the top and the bottom bunk. Why you sleep on the top? Why do you sleep on the bottom? When do you sleep on the top? When do you sleep on the bottom? And how do you sleep on the bottom bunk? Basic stuff. You never sleep on the top bunk while the truck is moving. Remember that. Pee bottles. Does your trainer have pee bottles? Is that something you want to be dealing with? No. No pee bottles in my truck. Say no to pee bottles. Speak up. You have to speak up. If something is not being done right or something is not right, speak up. Talk to the trainer first and then get with the dispatcher. Tire PMS, pressure monitoring system. How does that work? What to look for, et cetera, et cetera. How to check the oil and fluids. You should already know this, but how to physically do it. The coolant reservoir, power steering fluid, and the windshield washer on the truck. Waste stations, how do they work? Why it's important to go in and when not to go in and when to go in. And the pre-pass, which has to do with the waste stations. Florida Agriculture Station, how does that work? California Agriculture Station, when you first go into Cali, you have to stop, tell them what you're hauling. Same thing with Florida. There's an agriculture station coming in, coming out. How do they work and why? Texas Border Patrol Inspection. How does that work? How to deal with that? You're gonna you're gonna go through it eventually. If you're doing TNT, you may be on Interstate 10 and have to deal with it. Mountain driving, downgrades, downshifting, all that. Whatever it is you guys have, if you have an automatic, how to use the engine brake on mountain grades, you know, downgrades and stuff, mountain driving. It's important to get that right. You can go down the mountain slow multiple times fast once. AP unit. How to use it in detail. How does this work? How does that work? When do I get a PM on the APU? Etc. Etc. Truck stop showers. Something simple but yet important. How do, how do I take one? How do I use one? Again, you should already know how to do this because you did that on the PSD. How to write a comm check. How to fill one out. When, why. Repower loads. How does that work? When and why and how. It's very important because somebody runs out of hours, you have to take their load, they take yours. How does that work? Drop yards. What to do at a drop yard. How to deal with it what happens, you know, etc. Talked about that, you know, it's very important, drop yards. There'll be times where you drop it, load at the yard, okay, what do I do next, etc. What to do in case of a breakdown, road assist, you know what I mean? Very important to understand what to do in case of a breakdown. Shipper loaded driver count, SLDC loads. It's very important to understand what they are and how to do them. Very important. How to read the load assignment, which is the load that comes into the Qualcomm or your phone via the mobile app. Who is your dispatcher? May seem something so simple, but yeah, you need to know who your dispatcher is. Meet them before you get on the road with your TNT trainer. Talk to them and start doing, start building a relationship. How does the easy pass work? How does the fast pass how does the easy pass work and how does best pass work which are the toll passes so you don't have to stop and pay cash how to hook to a trailer unhook from a trailer it's very important customer service very important you don't want to get to a shipper receiver and have them call prime saying customer with order number because they don't need to have your truck number all they got to have is your order number because you're giving them the bills what's your order number cut uh, the driver with order number blah 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 oh he this and that no you don't want that so it's important to have good customer service all right fuel cards you want to pick up a pilot card loves card TA card etc what do I need during the training of TNT your trainer may have you use theirs 
but you already have yours when you get on your own truck. Road signs. Some road signs pertain to us, some don't. Make sure you're clear on that. You should already know this because PSD side. How to slide your fifth wheel. How to use the right way. How to calibrate the right way on the truck and the trailer. Greasing the fifth wheel. It's important because it could have an effect on the truck or trailer if you don't. You're not gonna jackknife, no. But it could have uneven wear on the steers if you don't have uh, grease on the fifth wheel. Jumper cables, how to use them. How to jump the truck with the trailer. How to jump the trailer with the truck. It's very important. Seals, how to seal the trailer. Why you seal the trailer? Do they match the bills? How to deal with driver's lineup when you get to a terminal? That's important. How to change an air filter on the truck? You don't always have to get a shop to do that for you. It's easy. It's very important though. Save you some money. Whether your company or lease, because time is money. How to use the inverter? Simple, but yet important. How to turn off the main truck, the main power on the truck if you're gonna be down for a long period of time, especially home time. You don't want your batteries to go dead. So where do I turn off the main power? Save the batteries and whatnot. Permits. There's a permit book on every truck. In every truck, there's a permit book. Go over that. What are the permits for? Alcohol permits, hazmat permits, whatever it may be, read them. You want to know where they at because if you get pulled over by DOT and DOT says, where well, your permits? You're like, I don't know. You don't want that. The New York hut, why that's important to have. If you have a, a permit for a New York hut or a, um, a temporary one, it's important to know when you need to get the, the sticker because you're gonna have a temporary piece of paper, but once you get the sticker, you have to stick it on the truck. It's important to have it if you're gonna go to New York. Truck stop books. Some people may use uh, Trucker's Path or some of those apps, they have everything, but it's important to use one of these truck stop books, pocket books. Very important. Spare key. It's always important to have a spare key on the truck. Where do you hide it? Why? Why is it important to have miscellaneous items on the truck? The bulbs, fuses, glad hand seals, extra headlamps, etc. Where do you get those at? Dash cam. Why would you have a dash cam? CYA. Very important. How to deal with multiple drops. How to deal with multiple pickups. That is very important. How to deal with dispatcher on the Qualcomm. Messaging the Qual uh, dispatcher via the Qualcomm or the mobile app. It's very important because you're gonna be dealing with dispatcher. You wanna build that relationship with dispatcher. Show them that you are doing everything and anything that needs to be done on this truck. All right, so there you have it, guys. Roughly 70 things that you need to be taught, you need to be learning, you need to be doing during the TNT phase. I may have missed, I might have missed a few things. If I did, guys, put them in the description, in the comments below, and people will see that. But again, this is something that I teach on a daily basis with any student that I have. Again, any of my students can vouch for that. It's not gonna happen all the time, but it's important to know it when and why so when you get on your own truck there's no questions about anything and if you have any questions which you will have questions when you get on your own but they're going to be very minimal if the trainer's doing what he's supposed to be doing and the student's doing what he's supposed to be doing you're good but if the trainer's not doing what they're supposed to be doing speak up speak up it cannot be fixed if it's not known to be broken right 
If people don't know, nobody's gonna fix it. So guys, speak up. It doesn't hurt. Again, I recommend talking to the trainer first, telling them what's going on, then dispatch, and then the next person. So I hope I was able to help you guys understand a little bit more of what needs to be do, uh, what needs to be uh, done during the TNT phase, what trainers are needing to be teaching and students need to be learning. If this is not happening on a daily basis, get out. Speak up, get another trainer, do something. But again, guys, this is your journey. The trainers are here to teach you all this, supposed to be teaching you all this, and make sure you get it done. Thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate everything you guys do. Thank you. And again, leave any comments below. All right. Bitch, I wanna party like Chris.